Hey guys, today I want to show you how to route your uh, guitar rig, Native Instruments guitar rig, to an audio rack in Ableton. And a few weeks ago, uh, maybe it was last week even, we talked about guitar rig and um, how cool it is. And so this week I wanted to show you how to um, make it a little bit easier to control with um, with the instrument racks in Ableton. So I, I have my own live set right here and I use the uh, guitar rig inside the rack here. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it's this one. And I use two uh, different guitar rigs. And with the first, well, let me just uh, play you a little bit. I can play you the intro. And then the harmony and the freeze are both uh, mapped to these uh, guitar rigs to multiple knobs. Um, so I thought those were pretty cool and um, they are great for transitions because, because you can just freeze the signal. Um, so to do that I'll just gonna make a new one. Um, I'll choose an empty channel. Let's choose the drums and then audio effects and then audio effect rack. And we drag it in there and now it says drop audio effects here. So then we're gonna go to our guitar rig. Native Instruments, Guitar Rig 5 MFX. And now what we can do is we choose a few cool modules. Um, for example, I like the Ice Reverb. And I like the... What shall we do? Uh, maybe a delay. Okay, and then... Um, we can close this for a second, then we come over here and we show the macros and then we uh, click this little triangle here and now we can add knobs to the um, to the audio effect rack. So we'll go into configure and all the knobs that we want we can just um, touch them like this and the freeze button and maybe the um, some of the delay parameters this one and this one and now all of those uh, knobs that i've touched are now here in this in this window and now we can start mapping them to these macros so um first we can map the ice verb to macro one and that is the on off but we also can map the mix to that same macro one and the freeze um and the color so now everything that has to do with the reverb is on macro one. So I'm going to call this reverb. And then I'm going to open the map mode right here. And then we can see the ranges of the knobs. So if I turn this, we can see what it does. So it's opening up the dry wet, the color, and then it's doing the freeze button. Um, that is cool. We could also, if we wanted to, set the size a bit higher, and then go into map mode and then invert this size. So, um, oh, the size, we haven't added the size yet, so let's do that. And we can set that to reverb and this one as well. So now we go to map again and we see the ranges. So this means that um, when I turn this macro, it's going to move all the way from um, 0 to 1. 1 being the full amount and 0 being the lowest amount or no amount. But if we want to invert this, we can simply set this one to 1 and the, um, the max to 0. So now when we open up the guitar rig, we can see that the color is all the way to the right. And um, instead of moving up when I turn the macro, it's moving down counterclockwise. 
so that gives some cool effects and you can also make the range a little bit smaller like this and it moves just a little bit so let's check this out let's see what it sounds like i will go out of map mode um, we can close the config configure we can close the chain this one so we just have these um, eight macros um, let's drag this on the master i think that will make it a little bit easier to hear what's going on So this would be a cool example of how to use that. And then uh, what we can do next is in that same guitar rig, we can open up a, a pitch and then a pitch pedal. I'm gonna remove the delay for now. And then I'm gonna set this pitch pedal to shift 12, 12 semitones. And then I want to configure this slider. Um, so we'll go configure, move the slider. And I'm going to map this to the uh, second macro control. Map to macro 2. And we call that one pitch. Okay. Um, so now what happens is first, because the guitar rig is still in, um, this is also the order of the signal flow from um, top to the bottom. So first the signal is going to the reverb and then through the pitch pedal. Which means that if we make the reverb very long, we can then tune the reverb. we could also um, tune it down if we set the max shift to minus 12 like that so uh, guitar is a very useful effect to use um, for your live sets um, it has a lot of the effects are just a little bit better and has a lot of cool sounds and a lot of new things, a lot of cool tricks. Another one um, that's great to use is um, this beat measure. So you get the idea, a very cool uh, rack to use on with Ableton, especially when you start using the macros, because the main advantage of this is that you can um, map multiple parameters to one knob, and you can do the same inside guitar rig with the, um, they sort of have these built-in macros, these containers, um, which, which are tools here, container, and these are actually the same. But um, the advantage of this is now that you have it in your main window inside Ableton and um, makes it very easy and you can also throw other effects in this rack besides guitar rack and then close everything down and then you have a nice and neat effect rack. So I hope that helps a little bit. If you have questions please let me know and I'll try to answer them. Um, thanks, I'll see you next week.